Welcome back YouTube. Today's uh, I'm not standing in front of the C300. Today it's the truck. We got a tire problem. So today's video, yeah, you probably saw in the title, got a flat tire. The reason I got a flat tire is the valve stem cover is aluminum and the valve stem is metal or vice versa. And it's basically seized on there, grabbed a pair of pliers, tried to turn it off and broke the whole valve stem off. So my buddy Miles told me that I can do this myself. So here we go, stay tuned. Okay, so here's the plan. I don't have a, another truck plan is to drive over the edge of that tire to break the bead. Well, I don't have another truck that's tall enough to drive over the edge of that tire. But I have the car, the back of Ann's car. If you look, this should have enough clearance to drive up that board. That's the plan. You ready for this? Okay, let's see what happens. Broke the board. Pretty heavy car. Let me keep back and see what happens. It's kind of off the edge a little. Let me try getting a little closer. Get up a little higher. See if that helps. I might be just a little bit too close to the rim, but I'm going to back up a little more just to see. Yeah, I'm just on the rim there. I need to move over a little.
That's where I need to be. Let me pull forward a hair. I felt it. Yeah, check it out. Broke the freaking beam. Nice. A little ingenuity. Thank you, Miles. Made it happen. Okay, so just by the way, I don't know if you noticed or not, you know, I was driving on the side opposite of, you know, because I don't, I don't know what's in here. I don't want to mess anything up. That's why I was driving over here. So let's look in here and see what we got. Yeah, check it out. Looks like a, looks like a TPMS sensor in there. Check it out. I've actually never replaced a TPMS sensor. You know, I, I became a mechanic before anything like that existed. So there it is on the inside. On the outside, look, we just got to loosen that nut there. So let's loosen the nut. I don't think we got enough loose nuts on this job, but let's loosen that one. I don't know what the heck this all this is. You can just buy part of this. It looks like just one piece. Looks like you got to buy the whole thing. I don't know. Let me head to advance and uh, I'll check back with you when I get back from the auto parts store. Went to advance auto parts. got easy sensor I don't know how easy it is because it says it needs a programmer and I don't have one so here it is it doesn't look exactly the same hang on let's check it out here's the original but it has like you know there's directions only it does see it has the same aluminum thing you can see that so it should look the same and I don't have a programmer so it's not going to tell me the tire pressure but I don't care I'm sure in cars more without tire pressure sensors than with so let me just uh, let me put it in and let's try it out see what happens okay there's this big red sticker red means important right let me read it Easy sensor is blank and must be programmed to make model year before relearning sensors to vehicle. Call for assistance. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, let me put it in and I'll check back. All right, let me make sure I'm putting it the right way. Where's some instructions? Let's see the way it looks. The opening towards the top. That's what I'm doing. Well, let me tighten this. 
this. I don't know what the torque spec is, but. I think just snugged up. Should be good. Okay. As you can see, the tire is like hitting it. I just need to get it around, around it. So it comes up to the bead. I think if I stand the tire up. Holding a camera. Okay, hang on. Let me get that over. Okay, got the tire against the bead pretty much all the way around. Let's see if I can get it to seat with the Schrader valve in there. If not, I could take the Schrader valve out and then try again. That don't work. Hello, starter fluid. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you have it, YouTube. Easy peasy. Place the, uh, you know, the valve stem that happens to be connected to the TPMS sensor. Um, so, obviously that TPMS sensor isn't going to work because I don't have a programmer for it, but, you know, next time I go to tire shop to get the tires rotated or, you know, to get new tires or whatever, you know, I'll just have them program it. Um, and I suppose I might uh, look through YouTube and see if there's another way to program without a programmer. I doubt it. Um, you never know. There might be an app on a phone. So I'll look into that and make another video if it's possible. But anyhow, easy. Anybody can do it, you know. Just drive your car onto your other tire until it breaks the bead. One nut, swap her out, air it up. Easy peasy. Good to go. Anyhow, there you go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next videos. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Have a good one.